kind of nice outside. Let's make the video outside today. I'm gonna dig this table. And it's kind of windy. Okay, let's just get started right away, for, which is for what you came for. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can save a macro file in DaVinci Resolve. And that might have been a little long intro, but I guess it was worth it. It's nice out, it's nice out here. So let's jump into the computer right away. Once you're in DaVinci Resolve, let's go right into a Fusion composition that I've already made so that we can just go ahead and let me show you how you're gonna save the macro file. So let's say you made an animated title that you want to save so that you can use it again and it sort of renders a little bit faster rather than having to add a new Fusion composition and copying and and doing all that messy thing again. So let's just go and let me just tell you one thing here. When you say you're gonna select everything and then you can right click pretty much anywhere. Then you're gonna go to, to macros and then create a macro. And this is gonna show you like this, but you'll see here, this is the way that it's gonna show up in your inspector tool that when you go into the edit page and drag your title. So what you wanna do to fix this so that you have it in organized, what you want to do is let me just close this and it shows that on the top of the list the last one that you change so you will want to go like on reverse so if we want this one the subtext to be below or second we're gonna move this just like that and then we're gonna move this and once we select everything we right click create a macro again and then now we can see our text and then our subtext and they're sort of like in order there so then when you edit it and save it it's gonna show up correctly and here you'll just put the name of your title of or title or whatever you are actually saving and then here on the text uh, the main thing that you want to do is text here these are the things that you would save usually but it's all about depending on how much you want it to be customizable and all of these options and more and more and then once you are done you just gotta close this and it's gonna prompt you to save. I'm, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the name that yours shows here, but you just click yes. You just click yes. And then here you would just write the name of the title that you wanna use. And that is pretty much it. From here, you wanna go, from here you wanna go into the, your fo actual folder so here you're gonna, you're gonna go into your actual folder so you can just copy that line from there and you're gonna go there and then you're gonna find your title and you're gonna copy these. Then you're gonna go to the link that I put in the description and then you're gonna paste your title there. And then after that you can restart DaVinci Resolve and then it should show up in your media pool right here. If you go to effects, and then titles, that's where it should show up. And then you can simply drag it and then you will see here your title and here are the things that you selected to be able to animate um, and like change and all that stuff. So that is pretty much how you would create a, and save a macro file in DaVinci Resolve 16. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this sort of like, I don't know, gimmick or like storyline a little bit. And yeah, let me know what you think of it. And I hope that you enjoy this and find it helpful. And I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.